here. Oh, my darling. Well, where else should I be except with you? Oh, oh sweetheart. Mm. Come, Come sit down. Come on. Oh, I feel so bad that you had to cut your trip short to Cousin Alona. Oh, that's perfectly all right. Oh, are you okay? Thank you. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Could you put yes. this around you? Oh. No, no, no. Please, please don't fuss. Oh, I'm afraid it's a little late for that look at that. Oh, Grandmama, you shouldn't have. I didn't. You did this? I'll make you breakfast for the rest of your life. I'll serve it to you in bed if you want. Oh, Ryan, you, sh you shouldn't have gone through so much trouble. Nothing is too much trouble for you now. I want you to relax until breakfast is served. Stavros is whipping it up in the galley right now. No, you shouldn't have. It's too much. What is it? Are you in pain, sweetheart? No, no, I'm fine. It's just, Brian, you shouldn't have done all this. I wanted to. Why don't you talk to me? Why are you so upset? No, it's beautiful. It really is. It... We can't afford this. Yes, we can. No, I don't want to be a burden for you and, and jeopardize your finances with my hospital bills because of my stupid mistake. Hey. Look at me, Viv. What happened to you could not be prevented. You have to understand that. I spent every hour missing you. What about your job, Adam? Adam's gonna kill me. My you job is fine. This. My job is very secure. Okay, IncredibleDreams.com is catching its second win, especially with this contest we're holding. Adam is under house arrest. Remember, the closest he can come to this yacht is his own rose garden. It's very sweet, Ryan. It really is. I don't deserve this. Don't worry about the money, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to spoil your surprise. Does that mean you're going to have something to eat? Toast. Um, French toast. With bacon and eggs and... That's more like it. I'm going to go take a bath now. Oh, could I help? No, thank you. I'll be fine. Let me go. I can do this. I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Fine. She's not going to eat a thing, is she? Well, don't feel so badly. I do. I do feel badly. Not because of breakfast, obviously, but... I don't know. It's just her. I thought when I brought her home and she felt my love and we planned our future and our wedding, I thought that would be enough. I don't know. This is uncharted territory for me, Eugenia. What should I do? You know, once upon a time, a thousand years ago, I had a similar experience. And I was just as devastated as Jillian. Fortunately, I had Alexei. Just as she has you. Hmm. And what did he do? Well, even though he mourned our baby, he knew that that wasn't enough to wipe uh, away my distress. So he, he provided a distraction. He took me on a world cruise. A world cruise, huh? Oh, darling, it doesn't have to be anything as extravagant as that, but you can't believe what a, what a change of scenery, you know, a different culture, different people, how it can revitalize your desire to live. That, Alexei, was a smart man. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to take Jillian as far away from here as I can. Good. Now, if money is a problem... No, 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 money is not a problem. I made an investment that's going to pay off big. But I actually, I, I didn't tell Jillian about it because I didn't want her to worry. So if you don't mind, just to kind of... Lips are sealed. You Andrashi women are incredible. I know. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, I want to check on that investment. <clears throat> Stan, it's Ryan Lavery. I'm great. I'm great. Listen. 
I would love to get an update on that project. Are you free to meet? I hope you're staying for breakfast. Oh, darling, no. You two should have it at deux. Well, then take some blinis for the road or something. There she is. There she is. How are you feeling? I'm better, thank you. The bath helped. Okay, well, I want you to relax a little bit because I got to get ready for a meeting, but I'm not going to be long. Okay. Come and sit with me. Here. Oh. Ryan loves you very much, you know. I know. Well, let him love you then. And tell me now that everything's going to be fine and we're going to get through this. We're going to have tons of children. You know, many, many years ago, I heard those very same words. It's true, they're no comfort, are they? Well intentioned, though they may be. You lost the baby? Mm hmm. Before your father was born. So then you know what I feel. Yes, it feels as if the ache will never, never, never go away. I just feel so responsible. Oh, darling. Darling, you couldn't do anything to save that baby. And anyway, as much as you love the thought of the baby, maybe it wasn't the right time. Well, Grandmama, is it ever going to be the right time? I, I, I just wonder about that, because every single time Ryan and I get so close to being happy, something happens. And that's all I want. I just want to be with him. And even though I want to marry him and be with him, I can't look at the future with the same joy. Oh, darling, please embrace your life. You have so much to look forward to. No, but it, it's not going to be the same. No, darling. Never is anything the same. Well, the world changes, plans change, dreams go awry. That's the joy of living. I mean, it's also the pain of living. No, please, don't live in the past. Live in the future. Are you listening to me? All right. Oh, my love. Grandma just left. We should be on your feet. Come here. Oh, <laughs> oh that feels so much yeah. better. Good. I thought you had a meeting. Well, I got time. I got a little time. Yeah. Are you busy in the near future? Only loving you. Well, I got this sudden hankering for goulash and all sorts of stuff. Hungry? We talked about it. I don't know our honeymoon. I think we should do it. You feel up to giving me a tour of the old castle? How do you feel about ghosts? I really don't scare very easy. Mm. Then you haven't met my great, great, great Aunt Cotta. She jumped out the window when she got jilted at the altar. And she only haunts gorgeous men. Really? Mr. Lavery! Ryan, are you there? Stan, come on in! To oh. be continued. I'll take a nap. Okay. Dream of Hungary. You okay? Yeah. Careful. Yeah. I'll try. Okay. Uh, hey. Thanks for coming. No problem. How can I help you? Well, I'd like to get an update on our real estate project. I heard the first returns were a little better than as promised. We aim to please. But what, since then it's been a little slow? <laughs> Tell me about it. With the latest series of storms, our projections went right out the window. So is, 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 is the deal in, in trouble? Or? Oh, we're, we're a little low on capital, but project's still so lucrative, I'm already rounding up new investors. So I got nothing to worry about? I'm already putting in money myself. In fact, this is the perfect time to jump in. You got friends who have cash? And what about you? Nothing wrong with getting a bigger piece of the action. It's tempting. It's tempting, but I can't really take that chance right now. Your so. cash on cash return is going to be 120%. Not even tech investments can give you that kind of return, especially in this market. Yeah. Uh, as tempting as it sounds, I, I, I don't want to dip into capital. I really don't. Nest egg, huh? <laughs> How is your fiance? She's great. She's great. Still working as a cocktail waitress? Hmm. <laughs> no, she's taking a little time off. 
I am sorry I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, uh, that's all right. I was just leaving. If you change your mind, give me a call. I will. Thanks for coming by. All right. Leo's unattached. Maybe he's feeling more adventurous. So, did you give any thought to what we were talking about? I can't wait to introduce you to all my favorite comfort foods. So, does that mean I should start learning Hungarian? Mm. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh. I promise you that this trip is going to be the beginning of our future together. Can we go soon? Like, real soon? Please, please, please. Anything you want, my princess. Anything you want.